Buongiorno e benvenuti, I'm Stephanie Smith from Liner Luxury Real Estate and welcome back to Palazzo Portinari di Salviati. In our last video we introduced the Palazzo and the many services and amenities that it will have to offer. For those of you who haven't seen it yet, take a look here. Today I want to go and take a closer look onto the residential aspect of the Palazzo. So follow me and let's check it out! We are on the Piano Nobile of the Palazzo that is still undergoing a thorough and meticulous renovation. After 300 years, in 1768, the palace passed from the Salviati family to the Ricciardi Serguidi family. This room celebrates this change. The frescoes were painted by the artist Tommaso Gherardini that maintained a classical style and used a mythological theme. If we look up to the ceiling, we can see represented the gods on Mount Olympus. However, at the moment, we don't have detailed information of the frescoes on the walls because they came back to life during the restoration. This 110 square meter room will be used for glorious and glamorous events. As mentioned, the Palazzo will be partially dedicated to luxury hospitality and the rooms on this floor are part of the 13 suites for such use. But it's important to see these rooms for their historical relevance. For example, the wooden covered ceilings date back to the Portinari family. And how do we know that? Because the bearing beams on the ceiling show frescoes with a grotesque theme typical of Alessandro Lori. Other than that, the frame with a black background shows two lions holding a door, and that is the symbol of the Portinari family. During the restoration, they were able to preserve the original stained glass windows that show the coat of arms of each influential and powerful Florentine family. These windows are present in each room on this side of the palazzo. The room is embellished also by the stone fireplace that even though it shows the Portinari family coat of arms, it actually dates back to a more recent time. Walking floor to floor and room to room, you really feel as if you were going through time and history. This room has majestic wooden covered ceilings with breathtaking frescoes. And also in this case, we can see the black frame with the lions holding between their paws the Portinari door. A curiosity is that when the Salviati family took over the palace, they modified the Portinari crest between the lion's paws and put their own. The same family crest that we can see carved in the stone fireplace in the room. These next two rooms have a change in style. It's more contemporary yet classical where the walls and the ceilings are covered in frescoes with vivid colors and mythological themes. It's as if their beauty embraces us. As mentioned, the Palazzo also dedicated a part to luxury residences, composed by 24 apartments that differ in size the smallest going from 80 square meters and the largest arriving up to 410. Right now, we are in a working progress of what an apartment could be. In this case, it has two bedrooms, a bathroom, and a space for a kitchenette. Even though it's not complete yet, we can already see the attention to detail. Like for example, the ceilings, and at the entrance, we have the wooden floors mixed with the marble. It's a true example of craftsmanship because it was assembled piece by piece, customized for the space, 
and it created a beautiful geometrical design. This is what a semi-finished room could look like. Isn't it gorgeous? With the wooden floors, the covered ceiling with illumination all around it, and the home automation technology that can control the lights and the air conditioning. Also, look at the fine marbles used in the bathroom which has all Devon and Devon installments with bathtub and shower. This apartment changes a bit in style in respect to downstairs. Here we have wooden beam ceilings and it's a little bit more unfinished in respect to the others. But the most spectacular feature here is the view on the Cupola di Brunelleschi. It's like having a large live painting in your living room. A wonderful aspect of this project is that the future owners of one of the apartments for sale have the possibility to customize their own homes by choosing between a large variety of features and finishes like marbles and wallpaper. We are in the first penthouse, which was actually sold, but it is one of two apartments with a beautiful terrace. From this apartment, you really understand the concept of location, location, location. And from here, you have a double view. From the terrace, you're, it's like holding a piece of Renaissance in your hand. You can see the Chiesa di Santa Sunta, the Bargello, and Palazzo Vecchio. Well, on the other side, from these two windows, you have a view of the Duomo, the whole Duomo. It's beautiful, but we're not finished here. Follow me. We are in the second penthouse, which has already been sold, and it's understandable why. As soon as you enter, the first thing you will see is a glass wall that looks over the cupola del Brunelleschi. You can see it in its wholeness. It's, it's amazing. This penthouse is developed in two floors and has a private elevator to access them. It is also the only one to have two terraces overlooking the Duomo. One on a lower level and the other on a higher level. Let's go check it out. Look at the unobstructed view of the Duomo that you can see from this terrace. It's amazing. It's one of a kind and truly priceless. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this tour of Palazzo Portinari Salviati as much as I did. Stay tuned for further updates. On that note, ciao!